welcome to its aircraft engineered and today we are back inside an Airbus A320 cockpit. Today we have a mission or a task to do which is to uh, replace an air conditioning system component. So today we've got an air conditioning pack compressor outlet temperature sensor problem. At the end of the video I'll explain uh, what the SIQ machine is and how it works but now let's do the work. So this is the compressor section of the SIQ machine. So we will, let me just try and locate the component here. Yeah, that's the duct that connects the uh, compressor section to the main heat exchanger. So our sensor, that's where our sensor is located. So, so this is our problematic sensor. This is our sensor fit. One, two, H, H. So the job setup is already done. So we'll go straight into the job itself. So let me just cut the audio and let's watch and see what happens. Okay, so that's our installation process. So now we go into the cockpit, indication is back, but we need to go to a, a temperature control test to confirm that the fault is cleared and there are no any other uh, further problems. So as you can see, everything looks good. Our test has passed, but then later, um, earlier on, I had promised to explain what uh, the, the whole ACM function works like. So our air, as soon as it comes from the engine bleed, it goes through the flow control valve. And then we go to the primary heat exchanger where it's cooled down a bit. Then after the primary heat exchanger, it goes into the air cycle machine, the compressor section of the air cycle machine. So in this section, uh, the, the, the air is compressed as in pressure and temperature increases. So as in air leaves uh, the, the compressor section, it goes to the main heat exchanger. In the main heat exchanger, is cooled down also. Then after the main heat exchanger, it goes to the turbine section of the air cycle machine. So the air goes back into the air cycle machine, but in this time it goes to the turbine section of the air cycle machine. So in the turbine section of the air cycle machine, so as the air enters the turbine section of the air cycle machine, it expands as in pres pressure drops as the air begins to drive the turbine. So the turbine drives the compressor. So as the air is doing the work, there is a drop in uh, pressure and also a drop in temperature as well. So the, there's a significant drop in temperature. So as air exits the turbine section of the air cycle machine, it's very cold. And uh, because of the, um, you know, the whole, the cycle process of compression and uh, expansion. So that's how it, it, it works. So as you can see, the turbine is also the one that drives the compressor and also it drives a cooling fan. So I'll explain the cooling fan in another video, which, uh, which does, uh, the, which actually drives the air through the heat exchangers. So, Basically, that's how the, the, the system is, is, is built up. But then I'll do an in-depth video on the air cycle machine itself. But here it was just for us to understand. So this sensor is one that picks up on the diagram. It to be located somewhere here where I'm pointing the arrow. Yeah. So yes, yeah, so the temperature of the air in that section is given. Uh, the indication is shown in the cockpit. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, 
like and follow for more i'll be doing more videos in depth on the a320 condition packs thank you